In the world of high-stakes poker and the bustling arena of the stock market, there exists a tale of an individual who bridged the gap between these seemingly distinct domains. The thrilling life story of this poker maverick turned legendary investor, Carl Icahn, unveils a remarkable journey filled with valuable lessons and a strategic approach that transcends the boundaries of chance. Join us on this illuminating expedition as we dissect every pivotal move and decode the financial strategies that defined his unprecedented success. By the end of this video, you will grasp the ultimate hand that reshaped the landscape of high-stakes finance. Carl Icahn's name rings loud in the world of finance, and with good reason. His incredible journey from a poker player to a titan of Wall Street is a captivating narrative that deserves exploration. So, let's delve into the remarkable path that led Carl Icahn, often referred to as the most feared man on Wall Street, to amass a staggering $20 billion. Through a unique combination of poker prowess and astute stock picking, he carved his name in the annals of financial history. Prepare to be amazed by the extraordinary story of how Carl Icahn gambled his way to unparalleled wealth. The history of the financial industry is littered with outstanding individuals. They all come from different backgrounds and have different philosophies. It's fascinating to observe how each of them has contributed to the world. Carl Icahn is not like other investors. He's well known for his business acumen, his willingness to take risks, and his extraordinary ability to turn around failing enterprises. Many lessons can be drawn from Icahn's life and work by aspiring business owners, investors, and professionals. We can learn a lot from him and his prominent role in shareholder activism. The journey of Carl Icahn from his humble beginnings in Brooklyn, New York, to becoming one of the most prominent figures on Wall Street is a testament to his unwavering determination and remarkable adaptability. Born in 1936 to a cantor and a school teacher, his family background hardly hinted at the financial giant he would become. Icahn's early years were characterized by the kind of tenacity that would eventually shape his career. After serving in the military, he set his sights on education. He enrolled at Princeton University, where he majored in philosophy. This seemingly unconventional choice of major was a reflection of his intellectual curiosity and critical thinking abilities, qualities that would serve him well in the unpredictable world of finance. Although his initial ambition was to become a doctor and fulfill his mother's aspirations, fate intervened when he was called to active military service. This unexpected turn of events redirected the course of his life, leading him toward a future filled with finance and entrepreneurship. Icahn's journey into finance took a unique detour through the world of poker. Before Carl Icahn became a Wall Street titan, he was a poker maverick who learned the ropes of risk and strategy at the poker table. His poker journey provides a fascinating backdrop to his incredible success story. Icahn's foray into poker was a testament to his thirst for challenge and calculated risk. In the smoky back rooms of Brooklyn, where he grew up, he honed his poker skills. It wasn't just a pastime, it was a passion. Poker, with its intricate blend of skill, psychology, and risk management, was the perfect training ground for the financial world he would later conquer. His poker career wasn't just about playing cards. It was about understanding human nature. Icahn had a knack for reading people, a skill that served him well when negotiating deals and making investment decisions in his future career. In poker, he learned to spot bluffs, seize opportunities, and master the art of patience. Icahn's daring spirit and strategic prowess at the poker table became his signature. He understood that, much like the stock market, poker required a calculated approach to risk. He knew when to hold them and when to fold them, and that wisdom would serve him remarkably well as he transitioned into the world of high finance. But his poker skills weren't just a hobby. They became a means to an end. Icahn turned his poker winnings into capital, 
which he would later use to venture into the stock market. Poker wasn't just a game. It was the launch pad for a financial empire. He understood that his poker skills could be harnessed in the stock market. In 1961, he made the leap to Wall Street and started his career as a stockbroker. His time as a stockbroker and his early experiences in the financial world became the foundation for his eventual rise to prominence. In 1968, Eichen took a bold step by founding his own stock trading firm, Eichen and AMP Company. This marked the beginning of his journey as an entrepreneur, and he was poised to make a significant impact on the financial landscape. The poker skills that once set him apart at the card table continued to differentiate him in the world of finance. His uncanny ability to read people, seize opportunities, and manage risk was integral to his success. In 1978, Carl Eichen made a significant move by acquiring the Tappan Company, a manufacturer of appliances. His shrewd instincts came into play when he later sold the company to Electrolux, reaping substantial profits. However, it was in the 1980s that Eichen fame truly took off. He exhibited a unique strategy of identifying underperforming companies, investing heavily in them, and orchestrating a turnaround to enhance their value. This bold approach earned him the reputation of a corporate raider. One of the most iconic attempts in this era was his pursuit of Texaco in the late 1980s. Although this endeavor proved unsuccessful, it was far from a failure. When Texaco repurchased his shares, Eichen reaped a tidy profit, underscoring his ability to navigate even in the face of apparent setbacks. In 2006, Eichen made waves by acquiring a significant stake in Time Warner, Inc. He started an active campaign advocating for the division of the corporation into four different entities as a result of his dissatisfaction with a contract dispute. Although his proposal was ultimately rejected, Eichen's financial acumen shone through as the stock price surged, further illustrating his talent for capitalizing on market dynamics. Eichen's investment in Motorola in 2007 marked the beginning of a significant mentorship with Larry Page, then the CEO of Google. He imparted invaluable insights into budgeting, reflecting his prowess not only in investment, but also in nurturing promising talent. The biotech sector became another avenue for Eichen's wealth accumulation. Investments in firms like Imclone and Biogen yielded monumental returns, showcasing his adeptness in identifying lucrative opportunities across various industries. In his later years, Eichen ventured into real estate, with casinos being one of his standout investments. The iconic Taj Mahal Casino in Atlantic City is a testament to his diverse portfolio and his ability to spot opportunities in unconventional places. In 2013, Eichen made a strategic bet on Apple Inc. and vocally advocated for stock buybacks, positioning himself as a savvy investor. The subsequent years saw his full immersion into the tech industry, with investments in eBay and a strong push for the spin-off of PayPal as a separate entity, substantially augmenting his wealth. In 2015, he made an unconventional move by investing in Xerox, reaping substantial profits when the stock price skyrocketed following a split. His investments extended to the multi-level marketing company Herbalife in 2013, where his staunch defense of the company helped deflect attacks from rival investors, leading to a surge in its stock price. Carl Eichen continued to cash in on his investments when auto parts businesses, Pep Boys and Federal Mogul merged, further showcasing his talent for timing and strategic decision-making. In 2021, Eichen's expertise and value recognition became evident as he witnessed a rise in value for his Occidental Petroleum stock holdings. His public involvement in effecting strategic and managerial changes within the corporation served as a testament to his influence and efficacy. In the same year, after selling 82% of the company, 
Eichen raked in nearly $1 billion in profits, reaffirming his unparalleled financial management skills. Eichen's diversified portfolio extended to various online companies, including Netflix and Lyft, demonstrating his strategy of minimizing risk through diversification. Additionally, the pharmaceutical and biotechnology sectors played a pivotal role in Eichen's wealth accumulation. His efforts to improve corporate governance within the companies he financed contributed significantly to enhancing shareholder value, confirming his role as an influential shareholder activist. Dollar Tree's acquisition of Family Dollar in 2015, which sent its stock soaring, greatly benefited Icon, given his substantial ownership of retail assets and shares in the company. Throughout his career, Icon has demonstrated a remarkable ability to question established norms and purchase when others are selling, capitalizing on the market's misjudgment of true value. His philosophy in challenging economic times is one of measured risk-taking, emphasizing the importance of unwavering faith in one's abilities. Icon has consistently invested in companies he is well acquainted with, underscoring the significance of industry knowledge. His story exemplifies how one individual can profoundly influence the business world, alter markets, and provide unique insights through their actions. Carl Icahn's career is a testament to the remarkable heights that can be achieved through shrewd investing, calculated risk-taking, and unwavering perseverance. His unorthodox investment strategies and unwavering commitment to maximizing returns for shareholders have solidified his place as a powerful figure in the economic landscape. His past teaches us the value of thorough research, leveraging connections, strategic risk-taking, and resource allocation. Most importantly, it emphasizes the significance of dedication and persistence in achieving one's goals. The legacy of Carl Icahn serves as an inspiration for all aspiring investors, showcasing the potential for success through bold and strategic financial decisions. Keep Carl Icahn's words and deeds in mind as you embark on your own incredible entrepreneurial path. Success isn't simple, but it is attainable if we work hard, plan ahead, and take some calculated risks, as Icahn's story demonstrates. Please subscribe to this channel for future updates, and thank you for watching.